Hey guys, what's up? It's our dick here, old school duelist, 12, whatever you want to call me. Call me, blah, blah, blah. That's the first time I've ever ruined my intro. Alright, we're doing this. Anyways, I'm coming back at you with a new deck profile of a deck. I, I did, I, This deck I keep building on and off, but right now, because of net, because of the gin lock is gone, this deck is actually live. It's actually playable. It's a very, very rogue deck. Um... I mean, it's I wouldn't say it's very rogue, but it's it's a deck profile of some uh something you really wouldn't normally see. As obviously you can see JD, but this is a different version of Light Swords. This is what I call it, Zombie Swords. Um, I saw I found a deck profile of this a long time, like uh, I want to say last year sometime. I don't remember exactly. I, I built it, I liked it, and then I slowly just changed it. To, because it was an old deck profile from, I think, huh, couldn't even tell you. Could yeah, I couldn't tell you exactly uh, how long ago uh, the old that deck profile I saw. But I changed it for the new meta. It's, I mean, it's really good. I've been testing the crap out of it on a YGO Pro. So we're gonna jump right into this deck profile. I've been talking for a minute and a half. All right, let's get into it. I play two JD. Uh, Judgment Dragon. Uh, it's definitely... I wouldn't say it's the boss monster of the deck, but he is very important for the deck, and he is your fail-safe. If, if, if the main part of the deck... The main engine in the deck fails, or the point of the deck fails, he's definitely your, uh, your fail-safe. I play... 3 Lumina. That's pretty standard for, uh, Light Thorns. Uh, so... Oh, another reason why I play 2JD is because if I play 3, uh, I either see it too much and it gets cloggy and I don't see what I need, or I mill it off too fast. That's why I only play 2, uh, because I see it just enough and I rarely mill them. Um, but yeah, I run 3 Lumina, that's pretty standard. Uh, it's actually a, l a lot faster. Uh, normally people play 3 Lumina, so that's pretty standard, like I said. I play 2 Raiden. Uh, 2 Raiden is nice. Raiden is a tuner, obviously. Uh, but he just sets up Graveyard, mainly, and goes for, like, Synchros and stuff. Uh, I play 2 Lila. Uh, definitely the MST of the deck. Um, so, that's... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's about it on Lila. I play 1 Lila... Or, one, 1 Lila. 1 Wolf... I only play that is ugly. Anyways, I only play one wolf because I don't like to draw into it, and I still sometimes draw on a wolf for the one. I play one Raikou to just blow up anything, and I also play one Minerva. Um, one Minerva is great. I rarely use Minerva for synchros, but I have. I can. It's awkward. I most I mainly use her for the mill or the overlay, which is yeah. <laughs> Which is really nice. Uh, that's it for the Lightsworn engine of the deck. I only play five Lightsworn monsters. We're moving on to the zombie engine of the deck, which uh, I th which I tend to use more. Lightsworns, it's it's more the Lightsworns are more for support for the zombies. That's why it's zombie sworn. Uh, the zombies are more predominant. And the MVP of the deck, Yuna Zombie. Yuna Zombie is amazing. He's what goes into your amazing plays like he is the main person of the deck he's what sets up grave he's what uh what sets uh what starts off all your big boss monsters which actually is the boss monsters are in the extra deck so when we get there i run three malicious because malicious is amazing for zombies it's perfect especially it's even better in light swarms or it's works just as well in light swarms so if you want to just throw in malicious so you can do rank 10 or uh level 5 sinks that's just awesome go for it i actually really suggest it and it's a great pitch card too if you draw into it uh first hand it's a great pitch card um i run Two zombie masters, zombie master Miner and Lumina. They're the same. Their their effects are the same. Only Lumina's for light sworn zombie or zombie master is for uh, zombies. Obviously, um, the only difference is Lumina is any card. Zombie master is any monster, or you have to pitch a monster. So uh, 
there's a big reason why I only play two because uh, play three, it's too much, and I don't have enough space for the unit zombies. And two is perfect. I always use you always recycle. Trust me, Zombie Master is recyclable within himself. Plus this guy, Mizutsuki. Mizutsuki recycles it a lot along with the unit zombie. Uh, and yeah, Mizutsuki is necessary. It's definitely a monster reborn for the deck. This deck has tons of ways to just pitch Mizutsuki to grave. Trust me, it's it's foolproof. <laughs> and I still play one Plague Spreader because Plague Spreader, I don't think is completely dead because of Unizombie, but uh, he's still usable usable for some plays, just not a lot. Uh, so that's why I run one, and plus I run also a big a big ten guy, so he's really useful especially with your boss monsters. Uh, that takes care of the zombie engine as well. Uh, so we're going to run, I'm going to show you the non light sworn and non zombie monsters I run in the deck. That just help it run faster. Uh, Necro Gardener, because this deck is all about milling and sending from hand to grave and deck to grave. Um, so three Gardener to protect you on attacks is amazing. I play two Curry Bandit because Curry Bandit's Mill is amazing, plus it helps you search for your spells, and your spells are actually kind of important. There's a, there's one I will explain why it's so important, but it's it's important to draw into and add to and have in hand. And obviously, because I play lights and darts, lights and darks, I play one BLS Envoy at the beginning, uh, because BLS. Enough said. Uh, that's it for monsters. We move on to spells. Um, obviously, I play three Solar Recharge. Um, I am going to tell you now, I don't play Allure. I did actually at one point try Dark Hole Dealings. Uh, Dark Hole Dealings was great. The only downfall was your opponent draws too, and that's bad. It's really, it's horrible against Necros. I mean, Necros people, some people say Necros are dead, some people say they're not. Uh, personally, my version of the deck was dead because I relied so much on Shurit. And even with the Unicorn shirt, was shirt at one was the deck ran so slow, so I I didn't like it. But like I said, Allure. If you want to try Allure, go ahead and try it. I'd say minus a sold only run two Solar Recharge and an Allure. But I like three Solar Recharge. Uh, every once in a while, the card becomes dead, but that's okay because it's also a good pitch card for Illumina if you get Illumina in Grave. And then obviously I run three of the Charge Light Brigade for the mills and for the searches to search into any light sworn I need, like Raiden or Lumina or Lila if I need to. Uh, that's all I run for the light sworn spells. Uh, for the zombie spells, it's pretty simple. I only run three. Uh, two Zombie Worlds. This is a priority. This is a card that you need. It is a priority. You need this for if you want to go to your to make the deck just run fast, especially when you have Zombie Master. Because um, with this out there, you can uh, Zombie Master for literally any card in the grave. Literally, Zombie Master. That's why Zombie Master is so important, and that's why Zombie Master is really great. Is important, and why I only run it at two, and why I made it so recyclable. Three was too much. Uh, I did run three Zombie Master. It was too much. Uh, I never drew into my recyclables so i just made the recycle uh the i just added more recycles for zombie master and minus one for zombie master so i only run two zombie world is help what helps recycle um yeah that's about it and then i run one dragon's mirror obviously you can tell what this is for uh, and then for the non I only run two non-zombie or non uh, non light sworn cards. I run one book of moon to help stop effects and uh, targets for stuff, and then one foolish burial. Foolish burial is for both. Uh, it's a mill for both plus you, or a send for both. Plus you can send the garden if you really need to. I rarely do, but you can. And then I only run two traps to finish off the main deck. I run two breakthrough. Uh, one of the biggest issues I never liked running traps in this uh, in zombie swords, so I did. Try, I am deciding to run two breakthrough um, because there's a lot of mills, and that was my biggest issue with the deck was summons. I can deal with. I can deal with big monsters, no problem. Um, 
it's effects that I have a hard time dealing with, so that's why I run two breakthrough. No, oh, no, oh no, you guys can't see, but I almost just knocked over like oh, the whole deck. That takes care of the main deck. We're gonna move on to the extra deck, and the extra deck is where the big prize cards are, which is definitely what you want to go for. Um, I will show you exactly the three cards that you want to go for uh, every duel. Every duel, you will at least you will get two of the three, if not three of the three. Um, one Scrap Dragon, I won one Scrap Dragon because Scrap Dragon is amazing. Uh, with this with this guy right here, two Beazles or Beal, Beelzels, Beel, whatever you call them. Scrap Dragon and Beazle, uh Beazle and Scrap Dragon are definitely go-to char or go to character. Go to cards, uh, because you go for the Beazle first to to uh to just survive for a while. And then you scrap dragon, target Beazle blow up Beazle and something else. Obviously, Beazle cannot be blown up, so you lose nothing, and they lose something. It's amazing. Greatest combo in the deck, plus same combo with JD and Beazle. Uh, I like that combo better because you can push for game hardcore with that. Um, without Scrap Dragon and Beazle, uh, you, it's really hard to push for game. If you can't get these guys out, which is very unlikely, then uh, it's just really, really hard to do. Um, especially, like I said, now that the gin lock is gone, uh, this deck is very live. It, Beazle plays are, are, are nuts. I run one Leo, keeper of the, keeper of the sacred tree. He's amazing. He's just a, a level 10, a sink for 10. Um, and he's just a beater. Uh, star eater because star eater. Um, this is the other go-to guy that you want in the deck. Um, like a, uh, Beazle, Scrap Dragon, and, uh, Star Eater. There's the three go-to guys to go to. The three go-to guys to go to. Wow. Uh, yeah, there's the three main guys of the deck. Uh, like I said, JD is support, honestly, for the deck. Can I? No? All right. I can do that. I can, I found out a zoom. Sorry. Um. What was, I going, what was I doing or saying? Oh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, these are three guys, three main guys you want to go for. JD is support, honestly. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you guys that. I know JD is so amazing for Light's Horns, but, yeah. Uh, and then I run one. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to say this. Draco Chioptic Cor Corrupted Nether Soul Dragon. He is support. He's hardcore, like not a main guy, but you can go into him pretty easily. That's why I run Plague Spreader for him. You can do him with Scrap Dragon. You can do him with Beals. Uh, you can do him with JD. Uh, it's any non-tuner dragon type monster. So it's pretty, yeah. <laughs> it has to be a dark tuner. So, uh, yeah. Or you can even do him with uh, this guy right here, Michael. You do Michael and uh, Unisampi. Done. And you can still go for the Draco I'm not saying his name, Corrupted Nether Soul Dragon. Um, but Michael, he's great. He's awesome. Pretty self explanatory. And I run one fusion. Obviously, I ran Dragon's Mirror. Okay, Draco Nether Soul Dragon, he's easier to say. Um, you can do him with him as well, the Nether Soul or the Plague Spreader with him, and you can still go for the Corrupted Dragon. Uh, he's amazing. This guy is the boss. He, he's amazing. When I, I built a zombie, just a straight zombie deck, and I made him, I ran three of him, and then two of him, and the deck just was, uh, it was too much. It was honestly too much because there was a tuner boat guy. Uh, it basically was made to summon him from Grave, but it was nuts. It was too much to try and do. I couldn't do it. And uh, that's it for, like, fusions and synchros. Here's for XYZs. Uh, I run one wind up Zen main and one number forty seven nightmare shark. Oh, you know what? I forgot a synchro guy. Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Dragon is also in here. Uh, yeah, Black Rose. Uh, because the deck is really fusion happy, it's really easy to go into Black Rose. Where uh, so, and obviously, uh, it's just in there to nuke field. If you can't get a hold of anything else, you got that guy. You got. Black Rose. I can't believe I forgot to throw in my Black Rose. I'm going to have to sleeve that later. But yeah, these two guys. Um, Zen mains. I didn't even explain why I run them. I'm having so many issues. Zen mains to punch stuff, or to, to scare them. 47 for game. To punch for game. Honestly, you really can. Uh, 101 to, to 101. 
Ragna Zero because a lot of monsters nowadays are changing their a lot of decks. They have a lot of attack changers. Um, so Ragna Zero is important for the deck. Turbo Cleese. Punch Turbo Cleese in the face. I am a TC I am an American player, not a European player. Um, I'm from America. Just to let you know. And my arm itches that's holding the camera. That's why it's shaking. Holy crap. I am feeling like the worst YouTuber or Yugi tuber for anyways, uh Ragna Zero, as soon as Turbo Cleese are a thing in America, fuck 'em. Fuck 'em. Ragna Zero is gonna fuck 'em up. They still fuck 'em up, but still. Anyways. Uh ga 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 cowboy. Because Cowboy, Cowboy for game. And Exiton, I run Exiton and Black Rose. If uh, I need to nuke field, uh, I have both of them. Um, synchros are just easier to do, so I do I do Black Rose. But just but sometimes I can't get Synchros off. And I need to nuke field, so Exiton is the next best thing. Uh, that takes care of the deck. That's all of the deck. Uh, like I said, the deck is really fun because the Gen Lock is out and gone. The deck is really easy to do, really easy, uh, and really punchy in the face. They can actually fight neck. Wow, like I'm not even. They're really punchy to to everything now. They're a definitely a a must comeback deck. Uh, I'm light swords. I'm pretty sure they're gonna come back anyways. Um, don't forget to go. Wow, don't forget to check out my uh, Facebook page that has recently been put up. Um, it's facebook.com slash, uh, I forgot, it's, I'm sorry, it's still fresh in my mind, um, facebook.com slash, uh, os, uh, duelist dot, uh, dot com, os duelist 12, uh, if you want to go ahead, I post stuff up on there, sometimes, maybe sometimes I'll post, um, I'll start doing, uh, sp videos specifically or specifically for the Facebook page to make people have to go like it. Um, but so far, I mean, anything posted on YouTube will be on there for sure, or at least links and everything. Links will be in the description below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Look out for my Twitter and an Instagram coming up soon for the channel. All that fun stuff. My arm itches so bad. Oh, my God. Don't forget to look out for my new series starting up, uh, the, the Discussion. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, it's just an ep it's just a series. Uh, me and my team, Team Goblin Force, um, we are just going to basically just discuss general topics for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, the first episode is posted. I'm, I won't be able to post a link in the link below at the moment, but go ahead, check it out. It is on the channel. Uh, it is talking about the previous ban, or the ban list, the up, the up, the ban list that is currently out right now. We were talking about it. Um, what should have been banned, what should be, uh, all the types of stuff. And we were comparing it to the ARG. And if you don't know what that is, it's explained in the episode. Go check it out. All right. Thank you. And have a beautiful night, afternoon thing.